Hey, this is Matt Wagner from Dead End Cemetery. This is my first video blog thing. Um, what I have uh, today is show off my t-shirts, sweatshirts, go over some stuff about my cemetery. Uh, what I made at HauntCon, and I have some mail to open up. Uh, here's my t-shirts. This is the back. Dead end. Cemetery yard haunt. Welcome to the end. The Grim Reaper and Cemetery. That's the t-shirts. Here's the sweatshirts. I got zip up and pull over. There's the front. Dead end cemetery. Welcome to the end. Established 2008. Omaha, Nebraska. And then at HauntCon, I made a, went to a couple of workshops, made some things. This is uh, how to make everything and everyday items as make them rust. This is just all wood that we use this product called Brutal Rust, and we just painted it let it dry and this is how it turned out as you can see it is just well, it is just wood and it's really lightweight but to just metal with rust Brutal Rust. Check it out by going to brutalrust.com. They have some different paints. You can get paint in normal with red tint color to the paint or white. So that's brutalrust.com. The other thing I made at uh, Hong Kong was how to make a tombstone. This is my tombstone that I made. You'll be next. And it's just that foam. About two inches thick. I also got a uh, uh, hot wire foam factory pro kit. And here's some foam I can test on. Okay, now to talk about my cemetery. What I'm going to do this year, hopefully, is to make uh, some pillars and actual fence this year to improve on it. Uh, for the pillars, I'm po hopefully going to add these flame wall sconces to it. Got two of them, one for each pillar. And then to the fence, hopefully, I think I'm going to add these, this one, this design to all the fences, and then maybe this one, this design for the gate, I don't know yet, comment if you like.
Now to open up some mail. This is the mail I got from uh, Columbia Manor Haunted House. As you can see, Castro Valley, California. This is uh, the t-shirt that I got from Columbia Manor. We did a t-shirt trade. Columbia Manor Haunted House with a skull. YouTube and Facebook, check him out. Subscribe to him. He puts up a cool haunted house every year. I'll put the links to his things in the comments. Columbia Manor Haunted House, a yard haunt, haunted house. Here's some of the supplies for the pillars and fence that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I got a huge box of these uh, finials. I found them on eBay. Two a lot, 287, and I bought them for 32 bucks. So that's pretty cheap. eBay is a good source to buy some of the materials you need. I also got all these wooden dowels. So I can fit into into the post that I'm going to be doing, and also they also attach to the top, so they fit in, fit in snugly. And I'll be cutting these at like three inches and two and a half inches because they're only 17 inches. Can't get a even cut all the way. And I'm using these, uh, can you see that? 3 fourths inch by 5 foot XL, 100 PSI. It's called a uh, flex water pipe. Hopefully I'm going to be uh, putting these furring strips. One here, one down, uh, I don't know, about a foot from the bottom and another one like right here and put like PVC half circles in it and also be cutting every other one at four foot and three and a half foot so they up and down hopefully doing that so I'll keep you updated um, yeah getting ready to build it thanks check me out on uh, Facebook at Dead End Cemetery uh, and my subscribe to my YouTube channel thank you